and welcome to the information video about your child's residential trip to Firthorn Manor. This trip will be taking place between the 21st and the 23rd of September. Please go through the slides and listen to the audio as you go. If you haven't visited Firthorn Manor before, here is a map to show all of the things that you will find there. Your child will have three days full of fun and they will never be bored. As we go through the slides, I will break down all of the different parts of Fairfield Manor and what your child will get up to. Throughout the three days, your child will take part in so many different activities. We have booked some exciting water activities like paddle boarding, canoeing and kayaking. We've booked some team building activities such as the team challenge and we've booked some climbing activities such as the rope, Jacob's Ladder, the climbing wall and abseiling. Your child has many exciting things to look forward to. As well as activities, there is also accommodation and food to think of. For accommodation, we will be staying somewhere called Ben's House. This is a house in the centre of Fairthorn Manor and this is an accommodation that will be just for our school. Within here, we have a communal area toilets, showers and bedrooms. The children will be in bedrooms of four and they will be involved in the selection process of who is in their bedroom. As well as this, we will have three delicious meals a day. These will be eaten in the dining hall. The children were very excited about all of the different foods when I went to speak to them. You may be wondering what the reasons are for this residential in year five. We wanted to consider which aims of the national curriculum we were trying to hit and which things we were trying to develop while we were there. Our aim on this trip is to develop your child's independence, maturity, personal and social skills, as well as developing their resilience and overcoming challenges. Within the national curriculum in the PE area, it always says to take part in outdoor and adventurous activity that challenges both you both individually and within a team. We feel that the children all managed to achieve this on their residential at Fairthorn Manor. A very important part of our trip that we always make sure we go through with the children close to the time that we leave is our school code of conduct. This will be the first time that your child goes on a school residential, staying longer than a day away from home. Therefore, it is so important that they know what is the correct way to behave and what is not. Please make sure you read this carefully with your child as well as us reading it with them at school. These are the timings of the three day residential. You will be able to drop your child off at 11am at Fairthorn Manor. The reason we've chosen a later morning start is so that you can drop off any siblings earlier in the morning to school and then bring your year five child to Fairthorn Manor for 11am. We will then unpack, have lunch, complete some activities, have dinner and then take part in an exciting campfire. On the Thursday we will wake up early, have breakfast, do some activities, have lunch, more activities, eat dinner and then have a class disco. On the Friday, we will have breakfast, more activities, lunch, and the children will be able to depart early at 1.45pm. You will be allowed to collect your child from Firthall Manor at this time. Here is the timetable for the three groups during last year's residential. The timetable for the three groups this year will look very similar. As you can see, the children will be non-stop busy. There will be so many exciting things happening all day. So if you have any concerns about your child sleeping, I can guarantee they will be exhausted because we will be having so much fun. Here is a little bit of information about Ben's house, the accommodation we will be staying in. It will be only our school and Fairthorn staff that will be able to access this area. The children's bedrooms will sleep up to four children each and we will have separate bedrooms for both boys and girls. 
One action that we will be completing with the children is we will be agreeing room groups that they would like to stay in. They will be given a choice of up to six children that they would be happy to share a room with and then I will be spending time making sure that they are at least with one friend in their room. They will also be split into three groups of 10 activity groups and these will be decided by the teacher as well. There are also multiple staff bedrooms between every few children, child's room. So if at any point during the night they feel worried or they need to speak to an adult, they will not be far away. There are also staff toilets, children's toilets and shower rooms on the same floor. And the things that your child will need to bring for night time are a sleeping bag, a pillow in a pillowcase and two towels. Closer to the time, I will be sending out menu choices for Fairthorne Manor, where your child will be able to choose between three different meals for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Here is an example menu that may come up um, throughout the week. This was the part of the presentation that the children were most excited about. Closer to the time, I will also be sending out a kit list of things that you will need to make sure that your child packs for Fairthorne Manor. Here is a shortened version just to give you an overview of some of the things that they will need. The main thing to remember is that they are going to get muddy and they are going to get wet. So make sure that you do not pack any of their favourite clothes and you pack enough so that they can get changed if they need to. Here are just a few specific things that I needed to pass on. At the moment, we are unsure who the year five school teacher will be, but they will obviously be going to Fairthorne Manor along with four other school adults. If your child has a one-to-one -one adult, they will also be attending with your child if they go on the trip. It is really important to remind children that they are not to bring any electronic devices, phones, tablets, or anything of that sort. It is not safe and we do not, we will not be able to keep them safe throughout the day. If your child takes any medication additionally to what they take at school, this will be sorted through a medication list and we will make sure that we have all of the correct medication and the dosages that are needed throughout the day. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this information video. Hopefully it has made you and your child excited about this residential. The next steps to take are to complete, read the letter and complete the form to say that your child can attend the trip. Once you have paid the deposit to say that your child can come, that will secure their place. The final payments will then be due towards the end of June. If you have any other questions regarding anything to do with the residential, I will be hosting a virtual Q&A for parents on the 26th of April and I will send out a link for this soon. Thank you.